welcome back, uh, Chromebookers, YouTubers, uh, etc., to this beginner series using Cloud9. Uh, while it's very helpful for people with Chromebooks, anyone that wants to use Cloud9 and is new to programming could benefit from this series. So far, we have uh, created a Cloud9 account, opened up a workspace, uh, made an index.html, a style.css, and an app.js, and integrated them all into our index.html and we've created a simple counter, okay? Very minimally styled at this point and very minimal functionality, but yes, it does in fact work, plus and minus, do to do. And so this video is gonna be uh, showing off Cloud9's integrated Git, uh, Git coming pre-installed and uh, beginning to use our bash, AKA the terminal down here. Um, first step, we're gonna go, uh, if you don't have a GitHub account, you're gonna to wanna to create a GitHub account by going to uh, github.com. We'll eventually make it there. Uh, my computer tends to run a bit slower when I'm doing these screencasts. Uh, I think I have like two, two gigs of RAM or something. Uh, I have a $150 Chromebook that we're doing all this on. Okay, so long story short, after you create an account, you're gonna to wanna to make what's we call a repository, a new one. Okay, and we're gonna call this uh, Cloud9 Demo. I uh, don't need to put a description and we won't initialize with the readme or anything like that. We'll just create a repository. Okay, we now have a repository. And here they provide us with some simple rules. Uh, we'll do we'll do what they say. We will first of all we will copy this right here real quick, uh, which is uh, HTTPS connection uh, to your account. There's also SSH. We'll just do HTTPS. Copy that. Come down to the command line and we'll do git init. You'll see it created the dot git folder over there. We'll follow their instructions to see how this works. Okay. We'll say git add dot that's adding everything. We'll say git commit dash m for message. And then in uh, quotes, we'll put initial commit. Okay. Then it says git remote add origin. Okay, let's, let's try that. So git remote add or origin, and then we'll paste in that thing we had. We'll say, okay, see if it likes that. Okay, we'll do git push dash u origin master. Git push dash u origin master. And once my GitHub username, which of you have created an account, you will have one. Now it wants my password, which you won't be able to see on the screen. And there we have it. If we look at, we can make this bigger just by dragging it up. We can see that it's added See, it's compressed five things. It's wrote six things. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But if we go back over to uh, our GitHub, let's refresh. And now we've got, we've just pushed our files up to GitHub. Oh, and it looks like we've accidentally pushed up the readme that came with, uh, it came with our Cloud9 repository. That's not really what we want for the README. 
So we have some time here. We can go and open up this README, which is a .md file. It uh, stands for Markdown. That's a syntax you can look into. It's a pretty handy syntax um, for quickly making files that have a little bit of style to them. All right. So what we'll do is we'll select all. We'll delete it. We'll use a, or a hashtag in a space to make a big heading. We'll say YouTube Cloud9 demo. This will be a little bit smaller underneath it. Say tutorials. And we'll make a list by doing a dash in a space. We'll say I say video one, getting started with cloud nine. And video two, is creating JavaScript and linking that to our HTML. Video three GitHub integration how to and that's it. Save that. Now what we can do here is git add dot git commit dash m space. And this is a message that's going to be filed for future reference for you and whoever else looks at this. And we'll just say update readme. We'll be all official and do it like that. And see, it already knows only one file has changed. You can see that down there. 18 deletions and five insertions. Then we do git push origin master. We can actually enter in some of this stuff so we don't have to So we don't have to be prompted for our username and password every time. Um, I'm pretty sure I can remember that, most of that off the top of my head. But now we refresh our repository and we have our changes been uploaded. And you can see our message is displayed here. And now our repository is looking pretty good. We've got our app.js, our index.html, and our style.css. And we've got a brief overview of the three videos in the series so far. And in this extra time, we're going to mess around with git config. Uh, dash dash global user dot name Not sure if it's going to like that, but We'll just add something to this tutorial video table of contents, we'll call it. So we, we made a change. So now we'll try get add, get commit dash M. Update readme. 